The important people here because they're the ones who are here. Right. Okay, yeah. I'm Dick May and I'm a descendant of Mormon Row on both sides of my family. And we'll set it straight right now. It wasn't Mormon Row, it was Grove Vaughn. G-R-O-V-O-N-T. Not like the river spell. Uh, but it was homesteaded starting on this end in 1896 by my great grandfather, James Ira May, and Nan and Jim Budge. Uh, if anybody that's been around here very long knows there's lots of Budges still around in May. Uh, they uh, were starved to death poor farmers east or west of Pocatell out in the they starved out is what it amounted to. And they'd heard about this Jackson Hole, and so in 1895, a bunch of the men took a pack string and they went north to Ashton and back this side of Yellowstone Park and came down through Jackson Hole right around the 1st of July. Well, that's coming right up and the grass, and the, they hadn't seen so much grass and water, they thought that must be the garden. <laughs> so they went so they went home and made the preparation the next summer they women kids milk cows whatever they owned wagons they started out from Rockland a few nights out they were camped on just around Blackfoot Idaho camped along the railroad of course you turn your horses out for pasture Casey. for feed at night Casey. Well, I, apparently they weren't, somebody wasn't keeping too good track of them because the train came by and killed 14 head of their oh, horses. Oh my so that kind of slowed them up for a while. They had to get on horseback and go back around Rockland and beg, borrow, and steal enough horses. But it didn't stop them. They came on. They, they <laughs> came, they ended up spending the 4th of July in Victor, Idaho. Victor was having a little 4th of July celebration. So they stopped and took it in and it took them two days to get over Teton Pass. And where I live in Wilson on the creek there, my granddad, who was 16 years old at the time, said they camped on Fish Creek and were, would have probably homesteaded on the west side of the Snake River, but said the mosquitoes run us off. When I moved over there in the early 60s, it was mosquito heaven. So there's got to be some place in Jackson Hole where there isn't quite so many mosquitoes. So they came straight north on the other side of the river. And it was the first year Meaner's Ferry. Old man Meaner had got the ferry across the river. So they came across the river on, on the ferry with their wagons and horses and milk cows and whatever couldn't ford the river. Come around the end of Blacktail Butte. My granddad said the, the sagebrush were almost even with the back of a horse. So they knew it was good soil. So they scouted it out and they could see where, yeah, we can get water out of out of the Grovon River. So this is where they the budges were on this 640 acres. The May, the next 640, you could you could only homestead. 160 acres at a time, but if you had a wife, she could get 160. If you had a kid that was old enough, he could file on 160. So in a few years, you put a place together. But this was the budge place. Next place was James Ira May. My dad bought Jim and Nan Budge out in 1941, and we moved right down there at the base of the hill where the, where the buildings were. That was where I grew up was in the old Budge house. And that house still exists. It's up at the Triangle X, so Triangle X bought it when the park uh, sold it. So this is basically where I grew up. I'm, I'm a newcomer. Heavens, this valley, this community had been here a long time before I come along. Dad, all he owned was a team of horses and a wife and five kids when he bought this place. He found somebody to finance him and he was in the ranching business. But we were here till about early 50s. Then he, he sold out, the park started buying under the ruse of Snake River Land Company. So 
So he sold out and went down the golf and tennis, moved us down there, and that's where I went to high school was golf and tennis. In the meantime, he went on down south of town and bought another 1,200 acres on Porcupine Creek, both sides of the bench on Porcupine Creek. So, I think we just well get back in the cars and move along, and I'll stop out and explain where the homesteads were. So this is about as far as we can go right here. Kelly was always there. Kelly, see, Kelly at one time was supposed to be the county seat of Teton County. Only Teton County didn't exist yet. It was still part of Lincoln County. Uh, but Kelly was bigger, actually bigger than Jackson. No. And the main road going north in the valley was on that side of the, the, the valley. So Dick, when, when you were interviewing in the radio, you talked about getting on the horses and, and riding over to Kelly to go swimming in a hot spring someplace? Yeah, right up there, the Kelly Hot Springs. Right up that way, huh? Yeah, and it was always there as far as I know. It was a lot warmer when you was a kid. Of course, everything was a lot better when you were a kid. <laughs> it was deeper. Yeah, yeah deeper and warmer and everything. Else. But it wasn't until 20 years ago I was visiting with my uncle, which is where we're going to stop and have lunch, his place. And the Kelly Hot Springs subject come up. And he says, well, he says, uh, the flood, the Grovon flood, you've all heard of that. He said, devastated Kelly, which it did wipe Kelly out. But he said it was a blessing for Mormon Road. I thought, what do you mean, Uncle Clark? A blessing for Mormon Road? I know it devastated Kelly. It killed 11, 12 people. Why was it a blessing to Mormon Road? Of course, the water never got over this far. He says, well, the Kelly Hot Springs didn't exist until after the flood. See, I didn't know that. It had always been there. For some reason, he said, after the flood, boom, up come this big bunch of warm water. Well, then they had stock water in the wintertime. They had warm water. Everybody had a ditch of warm water for wintertime water for their stock. It did. It was a blessing for Mormon Row. Devastated Kelly. You learn things. I was probably 50 years old before I figured, heard that. Kelly Hot Springs had always been there. That's what we skinny dipped when we were kids. <laughs> okay, let's travel on out of ways and then we'll stop and have another little discussion. Okay? You can go with me. Right, uh, okay. Yeah.